Superior Derma 3, should you buy it? That's coming up. What's up guys, Justin Greenwald here. Welcome to 65 Drums. This is the place to keep on top of all things e related, so consider subscribing if you haven't yet. So this thing was just announced the other day and it instantly got a ton of hype. The reason why is because the previous version, Superior Drummer 2, was like an industry standard for years and years and years and people were waiting for this new version to come out. We were wondering if it would ever come out and finally it's here and a lot of people are excited. Quick explanation for those of you that don't know what VSTs are, it's famous people hitting famous drums in famous studios. They record it, put it in a drum software package, those samples can be used for songwriting, they can be used instead of drum module sounds with your electronic drums. The possibilities for drum samples are absolutely limitless and a ton of people use them. That's why there's a lot of hype anytime a new flagship piece of drum software is released. So let's start with the recording process. Toontrack did not skimp out on talent when they decided to record Superior Drummer 3. They went out and they got legendary producer George Massenberg, or Mossenberg. I don't know how to say last names, sorry about that. He's gotten an honorary doctorate from Berkeley and a Grammy. He's worked with these bands, and they decided that they would record everything in 11.1. That's 11 microphones all around the studio at different different heights around the room to record these drums. It's absolutely insane and most of us mere mortals will never use that kind of a feature. It's more for like movie studios, that sort of thing will probably be helpful with like Adobe Atmos stuff. These are the microphones they use during that recording process. Okay, so let's talk about what happens when you open up this drum software. You'll notice that there are six kits inside of the box. Actually, don't buy the boxed version of the software because it's not gonna be some sort of CD-ROM. It's just gonna be a download code that will send you back to the website. When you open up the box, you'll see that there are six drum sets inside, which can be a little bit disconcerting. You're like, wow, this is a flagship piece of drum software. Isn't there more than six kits? But there are 25 different snare options. There are about 33 cymbals, uh, I believe 16 different kick drums. So the combinations of drum sets here are in the dozens and dozens and dozens. And of course, there'll be tons of expansion packs because it's tune track. It's in your future. I know this sounds really mundane, really stupid, but I love the fact that you can actually resize the window. Uh, I can't believe how annoying it was on Superior Number 2 where you had this little square and you had to squint and try to read all the fine little writing on these little buttons. With this, you can actually resize it, make it fit your entire screen. You can actually grab elements within the drum software and drag it to a separate like screen. So what if you want to have the mixer section over on your right side screen and then just have you know the main menu right there on your primary screen? You can definitely do that. There's a ton more flexibility here. Another thing this has is backwards compatibility with all previous expansion packs. So you can use all of your Easy Drummer 2 expansion packs, all of your Superior Drummer 2 expansion packs. Some guys spend a thousand bucks on those expansion packs. They come out with tons and tons of them, and it's just nice that none of those go to waste. You can still use them with the brand new software. Now inside the software, you also have drum replacement technology. They call it the tracker feature. So you can actually give it an MP3 of you playing some acoustic drum. It'll actually find which of those hits are snare, kick, you know, cymbals, and it'll actually make that into MIDI data. And then you can replace all that crappy audio with high quality samples within Superior Drummer 3. Or you can blend the two together. So if you kind of want to have that still raw characteristic of your initial crappy recording, but also have some sort of like backbone to the sound, you can have like 50-50 or 25, you know, 75. There's also an entire section just to edit mic bleed from other instruments. So for example, if you hit your kick drum, but you kind of want to hear some snare buzz at the same time, you can adjust that. There's a whole instrument section right there. There's also the ability to import third party samples if you want to. I mean, heck, you can even load an entire song and assign it to Tom one if you want to. Install samples and assign them to any pad and layer them onto pre-existing sounds. I found the hardware requirements for this drum software as well. It's not very demanding actually. All you need is eight gigs of RAM, a multi-core processor, and you'll need a lot of storage space. A lot of storage space because this thing is 230 gigabytes. And you'll need about 60 more gigabytes just during the installation process. You know, that's a really big download from the internet. And if you don't wanna clog up your home Wi-Fi for three days straight while you're trying to download this entire sound file, you can actually get them to put it on a SSD for you and mail you the SSD. They'll actually do that. They actually sell that as an option. Or you can just download parts of this drum software. It's broken up into six different segments. Each segment is only about uh, around 50, 60 gigabytes a segment. So you don't even have to download the entire program if you don't want to. Let's talk about the interface and just how it looks for a second. 
This thing looks a lot more modern, and as some people have pointed out, it looks a lot like Easy Drummer 2. It's not exactly the same as Easy Drummer 2, but it shares a lot of similarities. Just from looking at it, it makes more sense to me. I like the stylistic choices they've gone with. I know a lot of guys that are like, we don't need pictures of drums and stuff. That's all fluff, it's all useless. No, it's part of the experience. It's part of immersing yourself in the realism of the sounds. That's just the way I look at it. So back to the premise of this video. Who is this drum software actually for? It's a tricky question because this is an expensive piece of drum software and not everyone has the budget for it. Now it's going for about $400 right now. That's incredibly expensive, but at least there are some discounts. There's a 25% discount for those of you that already own Easy Drummer 2, and there's a 50% discount if you own Superior Drummer 2. I'd only have to pay $200 for this drum software. That's a much more manageable price, and even if you have to pay the full 400 bucks, yes, it's a lot of money, but at the same time, a drum module is like 500, 1,000, and then the best drum modules are 2,000 bucks. If you look at it in that perspective, this drum software doesn't look as expensive. But at the same time, if you've just gone out and spent $2,000 on a drum set, and now you're supposed to spend 400 bucks on drum software, the price still seems pretty steep, especially since you can go buy Addictive Drums or Easy Drummer 2, and it will cover a lot of the bases for you, um, and it's only going to be around $100. That's that's going to get a lot of people away from buying this drum software just because it's priced a little bit out of orbit for most drummers out there. This drum software is definitely aimed at the professionals out there. A lot of studios are going to use this, you know, movie studios, recording studios. A lot of guys from those places are going to buy this drum software. And just like the really big hobby guys that need ultimate control over their sound and like the best possible sound, um, those guys are going to line up to buy this as well. I know guys like that. But, you know, the ordinary, everyday drummer out there that just wants to have a nice drum sound, they're probably still going to go for Easy Drummer 2 or Addictive Drums. It's all about your budget, really, and what you need out of drum software. If you don't need everything under the sun, you don't really need to buy Superior Drummer 3. But if you want the best of the best, and you have a lot of empty space on your hard drive, this is definitely a great piece of drum software, and it is definitely pro level. Those are just my thoughts. I want to know, before you leave this video, comment down below what kind of drum software do you own? Do you like it? And are you in the market for a drum software? Are you thinking about buying Superior Drummer 3? Let me know down in the comments below. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you guys in a few.